so minerals and their deficiency diseases we know that various minerals are required in our body and they causes various diseases which means that their deficiency causes various diseases so let's see the deficiency diseases of minerals as well so firstly we will see the calcium calcium it is a very important component of bone and teeth it is also essential for the normal blood clotting and it is needed for the normal muscle and nerve function as well now the effect of its deficiency would be rickets and some muscular spasms so these are the most common you know deficiency diseases of calcium but for these diseases rickets and muscular spasms vitamin d deficiency is also required next if we see chlorine so chlorine it is a principal anion of interstitial fluid so it is important for the formation of hcl and also for the acid base balance now the deficiency of chlorine causes anorexia and muscular cramp so in the, this disease where we calling about anorexia what happen is that a person loses interest in eating so he or she doesn't eat at all and it may also lead to the death moving forward let's observe some more minerals their function and their deficiency disease so here we'll see magnesium so magnesium it is important because it acts as an enzyme activator it is also required in muscle relaxation so what would happen in its deficiency well there will be muscle convulsions in intestine okay this is one of the most common diseases which occurs due to the deficiency of magnesium so now moving forward let's observe some more diseases such as iodine so iodine we know we hear it every time so iodine it is the component of thyroid hormone and the deficiency of iodine causes goiter abortion and also infant death and cretinism all these diseases are caused due to deficiency of iodine next is iron so iron as we all know it is very much required as it is a respiratory pigments component which is the hemoglobin okay it is also acting as a respiratory enzyme such as cytochromes and oxygen transport enzyme also so the deficiency of iron causes anemia and weak immunity next is the phosphorus now phosphorus it is important structural component of bones it is also found in dna rna it is essential in energy transfer also as it is found in nadp it is also helpful in storage of energy such as for atp yeah and it also maintains the normal blood ph so the deficiency of phosphorus causes the deformation of bone and teeth moving forward we'll see potassium so potassium it is a principal cation in the cytoplasm that is inside the cell it controls the nerve excitability and also the muscle contraction now the dietary deficiency of vitamin k it causes rickets it causes rickets among children next is sodium so sodium again it is a principal cation in the interstitial fluid like uh, chlorine that we had seen it also maintains the fluid balance it is also responsible for the conduction of nerve impulse so the potassium and sodium ion we have seen that they are responsible for the conduction of nerve impulse now the deficiency of sodium it causes muscular cramp it causes hypotension and also anorexia okay so this was about these minerals moving forward we will see some more minerals like sulfur zinc copper cobalt chromium etc so this is the sulfur sulfur it is a component of hormone such as of insulin it is very much important for the normal metabolism and it is present in some amino acids such as methionine cysteine etc so the deficiency disease of sulfur is basically there occurs the skin patches and there is some problem in the metabolism also okay next is zinc zinc it is the component of at least 70 enzymes so it is found in most of the enzymes and 
if this, there occurs the zinc deficiency, we may have weak immunity and also there can be problem in fertility. Okay. Next is the copper. So copper, it is again a component of enzyme which is required for melanin synthesis. It is also essential for the synthesis of hemoglobin. Okay, now the deficiency of copper causes anemia and the damage of central nervous system. The next mineral is cobalt. So again, cobalt, it is a component of vitamin B12. You remember cyanocobalamin? This is the cobalt. Okay, and it is also responsible for erythropoiesis, which means the formation of blood cells. The deficiency of cobalt causes pernicious anemia. All right, which means that there is lack of RBCs. So next is the chromium. And the chromium, it is required for the normal activity of insulin for the carbohydrate and lipid metabolism. The deficiency of chromium will cause the disease which is caused by the deficiency of insulin, which is diabetes mellitus. So this is about the mineral deficiency. 